Tonight, a mother is describing the chilling moments when a car crashed into her west side home. Good evening. Thanks so much for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Lindsay Eaton. It happened Friday afternoon, and this isn't the first time a car has crashed into the house. Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler has the details on this continuous problem. I asked them, please help me. I'm bleeding too much. I don't wish anything bad on them. I just wanted to live to see another day. On Friday afternoon, Yolanda Cabrera and her one-year-old daughter were sitting in their living room. I heard a loud um, sound and then I blacked out for a minute. As soon as I came to, I heard my daughter screaming. The loud noise was a car crashing into their home on Oliver Avenue. She was in my arms when we flew. And luckily she only has a scratch and a, and a mark on her head. But I'm glad that it wasn't anything else. I'm glad that everything happened to me. Police say the driver of the vehicle fled the scene. Cabrera, who was alone with two of her daughters, said she was pleading for help due to her injuries. As for my arm, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to use it again. And my foot is really messed up. Neighbors rushed into the home to help. They say this isn't the first time a car has come crashing into this exact house. People blow right through. Um, and th this house has been hit multiple times. Uh, my house next door has been hit multiple times. Uh, my mailbox kept getting mowed down, so they had to um, move my mailbox further away. People in the neighborhood say something needs to be done to slow drivers down. More lights, more signs, maybe even a speed bump or two. For now, Cabrera, her husband, and their three daughters are left trying to pick up the pieces. We have to find a place to live. Now we are homeless. Now we have to find a vehicle. On the west side, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News. The family is staying in an extended stay for two weeks, courtesy of the Red Cross. At this time, no one has been charged. IMPD is leading the investigation. Now, if you'd like to help out this family, we have a link over on our website with this story. Tonight, Metro Police are asking for the public's help after a 